Hi, this is Mimi from Mimi's Paper Crafting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see what exactly it is that we can emboss. Okay, I have a ton of embossing folders. I, I'm going to be honest, I rarely use them. Um, a lot of times you're just using them on paper. So I grabbed a bunch of items that I have here and we're going to see exactly what embosses and how well it embosses. I have no clue. So I didn't practice this. I didn't, I didn't do a test run. We're doing this together in this video. I'm not going to edit it. You're going to see what works and what doesn't work and maybe get some ideas. Okay. So I have three different embossing folders here, three different like this one's bigger than the other ones. Oh, actually, let me grab a 3D one while I'm at it, too. I do have one 3D one. Um, where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, right here in front of my face. Look at all these. They're just flying everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to grab that 3D one because I, I don't know if it would rip some of these items or not. And then, so I have a bunch of embossing folders and then I have a paper bag. I have wrapping paper. I even have some scrap vinyl from my vinyl collection to see if that will work. And then I have wax paper, parchment paper, and aluminum foil. So some of these I'm just gonna cut into pieces so we can try on the different on the different um, embossing folders. So let's just cut a piece of this to go in the 3D. And then we have a piece to go in this one. So we have that. And then we're gonna grab some of this for the 3D. And then for a regular embossing folder, wow, look at that, that fits. And the same with this. We're going to grab a piece of it for the 3D. And then we'll use this big one here for that. And then I'm going to cut these down to size in a little bit. There, um, I have a fan on. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it is very hot down in my basement. No lies. It is so hot down here, even though it's like 70 some degrees outside. It's so hot. So, I have a fan on. When I recorded the other day, it didn't sound like you could hear it, but we'll see. And then there's a glare. Um, let me see if I can do this without this light on. Okay, I got a new webcam too. My boyfriend bought it for me as an early birthday present. So we shall see how this works. I'm just gonna slip in. Oh, I gotta. Got to, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's how we do it. You got to do what sandwich works best for your machine. I'm sorry. This is going to shake the hell out of you. I'm sorry. It's just how it's going to be. Okay. Look at that. That embossed really nice. Both sides. And then you can still open it as a bag. So if you have a big enough one, you cut your uh, bag down to size, that would be really cool. Look at that. Okay, so a paper bag. Let's try the paper bag on the 3D. Okay, so here's the only 3D one I have. It's the wood grain um, from Tim Holtz. I'm not going to do the bottom of the bag. I'm just going to slip that in. I don't remember if this is the correct sandwich. We'll find out, won't we? Nope, not the correct sandwich. Okay. I can never remember. I think I can put this back on and then this. We'll see. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's written on that. Nope. this, just the folder, just the top. There we go. I mean, I could have read that 
the first place. Like I said, I'm so sorry this is going to shake. I'm so sorry. I don't have a choice. Currently, my camera is still mounted to my desk because my wall mount was supposed to, I'm trying going slow and so I don't uh, shake you. My wall mount was supposed to be here, but my wall mount, this is what day is today? Today is Sunday the 17th. My wall mount was supposed to be here yesterday, but my wall mount found its way to um, Ohio. It was right next door to me, right next to my town in eastern Pennsylvania, and then it went to... Um, Ohio. Look at that though. That looks really good. Let me do one. Let's see. Um, here it is. Let's ink drag this so we can see it. There you go. Now you can see what kind of impression it did make. I mean, it went in there. You can still use the bag. The only thing is, I just wish that it was a bigger, either a smaller bag, so it went the whole width, or a bigger embossing folder, but it works. Looks good. Okay, so regular embossing folder and 3D work very well with a paper bag. I figured it would, but I wasn't sure if the 3D would rip the bag. That's what I was worried about, the 3D ripping the bag. Okay, now we need to put this back on. All right, so we'll put that back on, put that on the floor for now, and we're going to try this guy with this vinyl. I don't know, what do you think? This is just um, regular vinyl. I think it's permanent, but it's not HTV is what I'm saying. Oh, look at that. That looks really cool. Let me see. Let me grab a plain piece of paper. I mean, not plain, but a piece of paper from my stash. And let me move this. Let's peel it off and put, like, it even went through the back. Let's peel it off and put it on like it would be a card front because this would make a really cool card front. Now I have to do this. Look at that. I'm going to put it down. Okay. Oops. Beware of air bubbles. Beware of air bubbles. Okay, and then let's, sorry, I had to bend down for my trimmer. Let's trim it out like it's an A2 card front and see. I mean, we're already here, right? So, I do, here we go, and then, five and a quarter, right? Let's take a smidgen off here so it's perfectly straight. And then here. Oh, that would make a super, that would make a really cool card front. Look at that. That is fantastic. Uh, don't think I'm not going to be making card fronts with vinyl. I have so much vinyl and colors that I'm not going to use for anything. But look at that. That looks really good. Okay, so we have that. And then even the, the backing paper is still, I mean, honestly. If it didn't have the lines in the back, because you can see it when you put it down. But I wonder, I wonder, bear with me. We're experimenting today. We fussy cut around this. Okay.
So while I'm doing this, I spent two days, because this, today's the 17th, I spent the last two days watching SBC Fest. Have you, did you guys watch SBC Fest? Did you learn, if you did, did you learn any new techniques? The teachers were so good. And you can, you never, you don't ever not enjoy Vicki Wooten and Simon Hurley and all of them, but I mean, learn, finding new people to watch was really great. Cut around that, and then I don't think it's as noticeable. I don't really see it now that I cut around it. That's really nice. Even the backing comes out really nice. Okay, I, you know what? I'm gonna put this in my journal for this week. So I'm gonna put that aside so it can go in my journal. All right, but yeah, this is super cool. We're definitely gonna make some card fronts with this. Definitely, okay. Put that aside, and then we have this one, and what did I do? Anybody know what I did with the 3D? Right here. Okay, let's see what happens when we do the 3D. So now we know that it does work, but now I'm checking to make sure that it's not gonna tear anything. I think that's my main issue with the 3D and some of these items, is that it's gonna tear. We don't want to tear our products. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry, you guys. Like I said, I was supposed to have my freaking mount. Oh, look at that. Damn, that is a D. I know it's a 3D, but... Whew. That is amazing. And some brown vinyl, that would look killer telling you. Okay, let's put that aside. Now, where's the paper bag? We're going to try the, I mean, the, this is, this is craft, um, mm-hmm, yeah, it's craft. It is wrapping paper. She's Louise. So, right in with the 3D. Okay. Oops, sorry, I hit my microphone too. I'm, I'm having a day. Okay, and it did not, it went deep and it did not tear it. So, did I put it away? I'm like, I'm telling you. Just a little bit so you can see it went. See? And it's, it's, it's stretched that paper out too because it's such a deep embossing folder. Okay. And then let's try the regular and see how the regular goes. We're just going to try this guy here. Actually, we're going to mix it up. We're going to go to this one because we already tried the wood. I know they're just embossing folders, but I don't want to look at the same one every time. Also, look at, look at that cutting pad. Isn't it purdy? It's purdy, isn't it? And my, um, my Big Shot squeaks. It squeaks. Okay, look at that. Great. All right. I'm just, like I said, at this point, I'm making sure it'll emboss and I'm making sure it doesn't rip. We don't want our stuff to rip. So next, let's try some wax paper. My I had to run upstairs to grab some of this to try. And I'm going to put the rest in my drawer and just in case I would ever, just by chance, need wax paper. Oh, you know what else I just thought of? Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Hold on. I don't have my small, darn it. No, I have to, I would have to pause and search for it. And I told you I would not pause. So I can't, but I was hoping I could easily find, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Here it is. Haha. -ha. 
laminating pouches. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we use laminating pouches. And then, not to laminate it, but then to use it to make um, shakers, stuff like that. Like, that would be really cool. All right, I don't think this one's going to work, but we'll see. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me down below, what did you guys think was going to happen with, with these next three items and the 3D embossing folder? Remember, the next three items are parchment, wax paper, and aluminum foil. I have a fear that this one might rip. Oh, look, it just, see that? It made it, it didn't rip, but it, it looks like you crinkled up the wax paper. So our first fail, wax paper in 3D, not good. Let's see how it will do with a regular um, embossing folder. See if it does the same thing. did the same thing, but it's not that bad with this tree one. Let's try another one. Would, I put it away already, right? Did I not? Yes. All right. Let's cut another piece and try the dot one. I just want to see if it does the same thing or if it's these little intricate, intricate pieces that are on the top, the little leaves on the top of this are what kind of did the same thing as the 3D. So let's try the dots and see what happens. I'm just going to throw it in, give it a shot, because maybe there are ones that work a little bit better. Nope, I can see already. Yep. Wax paper's a fail. Okay, good to know. Wax paper is a fail. Next. Next on my floor is some parchment. I use a lot of parchment paper in my house. Nothing goes in my oven on a sheet pan that is not on parchment paper. How about you guys? nothing. I don't, I don't want to have to clean up. I don't want to have to clean up a, a sheet pan after I've roasted potatoes on it and there's all that crap all over it. Or you've roasted chicken on it and you know I don't, I don't want to have to clean that up. Nobody's got time for that. Not when there's parchment. Okay let's see. Look at that. Okay, so that worked really well. Put that aside. Let's see about the 3D. It's always the 3D I'm worried about. Oh, sorry guys, sorry. That one was bad. I was trying, I'm trying so hard not to shake you. Don't hate me. Oh, this one worked pretty well too. It's got a great texture to it. A great feeling. Okay. And then let's try just one more just to see. Since I have three pieces here. Oh, might as well just throw this one on top, huh? I'm trying to go as slow as I possibly can so I don't jiggle you too much. Ooh, that cut through. Look at that. 
See that? That cut through. Can you see that? Yeah, look at that. Okay, so where's the other one? It didn't cut through this one. I lived it a little bit right by this one knot, and it didn't cut through this one. So some of them just don't work. Okay, that one was a fail. And last but not least of our three items I wasn't sure about is aluminum foil. Hey, guess what? I think I just semi-sharpened my scissors. <laughs> Sorry about all the crinkling, too. Why am I cutting it when I can just tear? Anybody? Anybody? No? You don't know? Look, it's aluminum foil. You can just tear it. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's go with the 3D first. Okay. Smash that in there. tore a little bit. You probably can't see it because of the glare, but it tore just a tiny bit right here. I'm sorry. There's nothing. It's aluminum foil. There's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, it just tore just a tiny bit there and a tiny bit by the knot. But in my opinion, workable. Let's try this one here with with those leaves because like the flower one the leaves are what I believe will be the issue sorry so so sorry I don't know why I'm still apologizing it's gonna happen well now is that not a clean dang that looks so good. I'm so sorry for the glare, but you know, I can't, I can't do anything about it. It's aluminum foil, but that looks good. Okay. And then let's try, since we know that, let's try this one. Cause this one gave us problems with the parchment. So let's see what happens. I'm going to smooth it out as best as possible. Oh, look at that. It ripped up here. See that? You can see it ripped. Yes, you can. Other than that, though, that looks really good. I mean, really good. Oh, except for I just ripped it. Okay, so it looks good, but it tears way too easily. Look at that. All of it's now falling apart. So that one's a no-go, but it is what it is. You know, let's try this laminate pocket and then I don't know about you, but then should we try running the laminator? I would have to pause for that and wait for it to heat up. I would have to pause for that. So you let me know. Well, you can't let me know. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> You let me know, okay? Like I'm live. Let me know down in the comments. Actually, I'm not gonna run the laminator. Let me know down in the comments, should I run the laminator, okay? And I will do a short to see what happens if this works. That was a really tough one, I'm sorry, you guys. If this works, what happens if you laminate? Oh, that looks really good. Look at that. Imagine, hold on. 
Give me, give me a second here. I need to, give me a second to pull out my embellishment drawer. And I believe I pulled out the wrong one. I did. Okay. I'm just looking for sequins here. Here we go. That's not sequins though. There we go. Okay, so let's put this aside because we are done with it. We are done with it. Can I speak? No. Okay, so we have this guy here and then like dump some sequins in. And then look at that. You could stitch all around and just make this a really cool shaker pocket for a journal. Look at that. But if you take your sewing machine, if you don't want to laminate it and stitch all the way around, it would make a really cool shaker pocket. Because look at that indent. Look at that impression. Okay, so. What I want you to do is let me know if you want me to run this through the laminator and I'll even run it through a sequence in because you can do that. I don't know if you know that. You can do that. So let me know down in the comments. Should I run this through the laminator? See what happens. And then tell me also, what do you think of this? This is freaking amazing. I love it. A sentiment across here would look killer and this would make a great card front just saying but there we go we tried the vinyl worked awesome paper bags worked great of course the wrapping paper worked font worked great so did the parchment paper and the aluminum foil did good on some of them it cannot be an intricate one that's what we've discovered right and the wax paper wax paper did absolutely nothing and then this did great so there you go. That's everything we tried today, I believe. And now you know all the different things that you can emboss instead of just paper all the time. Thanks so much for watching today, you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and like, subscribe, and like I said, comment down below and let me know. And if I get any yeses, I will run it through the laminator for a short. Okay? Have a great day. Thanks so much.